Hi there, Carmen here. I'm back in the studio at Align Pilates. In this video, I am going to be demonstrating the single leg spring exercise. Okay, let's get to it. All right, so if you've started putting your uh, both leg springs into your practice on the Cadillac, you can also start to work the single leg spring. So it's just going to be one leg spring used at a time on one leg. And there are different setups for that. So I'm going to do my right leg and I'm going to take my opposite spring and place it on my foot. Now I'm doing that as a choice. I'm making a, a, a very, you know, a choice because I know that for my body, this is where I tend to get, um, I lose my connection. So if this is pulling me over that way, then I have to use more of this side of my body, okay? So knowing that you can cross the spring when you're doing your single leg spring to find what you need in your body to find the center more, okay? Okay. The other option is I could take it to here and I do do this with myself and students, especially if there is some knee tracking issue, then I, I, I like to use this side because it keeps both legs, uh, both sides of the legs pretty true. So know that there is two ways to set up and know why you're choosing to put that on your leg or a student's or a client's leg. So let's go back to the one where I'm crossing over here. I'm on the Contrology Reformer or uh, Cadillac and um, the, the firmness of this mat or uh, the, the, the bench here is amazing, especially for my body because I can certainly also feel when I'm pushing that spring in and out, whether or not I'm tightening or gripping or losing that length in my spine. So I really like this mat for that, the firmness. Now the second thing for me, I tend to go up in my shoulders and we know if we are away from a spring, it's heavier. So I will keep a, you know, more of an angled position to my arms. And here we go. So the first, I suppose variation you can do on the single leg springs is just simply, well, it's not that simple, but it's a reach out and come back. Now we know we use this everywhere in our Pilates, in the studio, on the mat, on the reformer, the chairs, everywhere. So it's just a back and forth, feeling the length in the spine, reaching out through that spring, keeping that spring resisting, so keeping it open as I come back and you can see I'm just, I'm a mess here. So the next one I want you to try is the lowering, the lifting, and then you come back, okay? We do a lot of this kind of coordinating effort in Pilates, so we're just keeping that going like so, okay? All right, the other one that you can also add on is going out, coming down, and dragging it in. And then pressing it out, lifting it up, bring it in. That gets even more complicated of a movement sort of pattern. All right, the last one we can add on is the leg circles. We come across just like we do in our mat, around and up, and across, down, around, and up, okay, and reverse. So we have a few things to help us, I suppose, be aware of connecting in through our body. We've got our poles up here for our upper body, and then we reach away more through the spring with the lower body, and then we also have our mat to notice where we are getting a little bit tense or we're maybe not doing enough work, 
and the back is super arched and you know, you're not finding that length. So play around with that. Lots of fun with those. Those single leg springs are very helpful with, if you're just beginning to start to work uh, your footwork on the reformer, your leg uh, frogs and circles on the reformer. So an excellent exercise uh, to teach you about how you use your body, move it in space and how you connect to your center, but also how to move with some flow and coordination. So have fun with that. If you have any questions, please uh, leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. It helps us out a lot and we'll see you in the next video.